December 2020, we're live on the southern shores here of Wake Island. We're on Wake Island proper, so there's our ride in the background getting ready to take off. And just walk through some of the memorials here to uh, Set uh, that you know echoed throughout the, their heroism in World War II. The Marine Corps you know draws a lot of their heritage from this moment here. It's really incredible, very motivating to see Marines have this amazing proud history. And the fight that they put is epic. They took out two destroyers uh, and, and killed hundreds of Japanese attackers, being outnumbered very significantly. So they put up a monster fight, the kind that they're famous for. So. to see it live. So anyways, flip back around again and there's not that much to see out here. It's a very small place but extremely remote. The wind is relentless from the south. Um, the stars were amazing. Uh, birds. Say hi. Well, you think we're going to feed you or something? What? <laughs> What are, are those juveniles? Juvenile albatross? They don't look like seagulls. Super humid, seas a rough chop, and uh, the ground is just brutal. It's just coral, just crushed coral everywhere. There's not sand, it's not a sandy beach, it's like a rough, rocky beach. If you went out here barefoot, you would get wrecked, you would regret it. I'm wearing, I'm wearing heavy boots. They're taking a punishment. This ground is rough. This was the American Command Post Office. I'm not sure.
civilian construction workers that were building it. The Naval Air Station was around 60% complete at the time of the attack. But these construction workers that were here, many of them took up arms and fought alongside the Marines. After they were taken prisoner, 98 of them were executed in one of the most atrocious war crimes. That's what 98 Rock pays tribute to, but this company here was involved in several other spots in the Pacific. Again, there's a radio engine. What happens when it turns to tropical crust? Super corrosive. That's pretty cool. You see like the copper windings on the magneto there. That's pretty cool. So copper, yeah, look at that. And then there's the plumbing lines that are still intact. How about that? The copper does hold up. And so I can't confirm, but it looks like a double, it looks like a double radial engine. Don't know that it's like the famous Pratt double wasp. It could be, it could be. I have no idea what this belongs to, but that could be the mighty uh, Pratt radial. I don't think it's uh, fit for restoration, but it could probably won't fly again. Yep. Looking in the museum case inside. Terminal Lake Island. Okay, so this is interesting because I have that exact fork right there. So this is interesting because the F 4 F Hellcat, that's a replica of the aircraft that they had here at Wake. You know what's really cool is some of these fish that they have. That's a straight up yellow. Okay. Just being a tourist for a second here. What's that? Just being a tourist. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this is the museum at Wake Island. Not much to it. But amazing history nonetheless. Love the jerry cans. Some aircraft skin, lots of shell casings. I would be remiss to not point out the run and root beef sticker. So at some point in history, the run and roos made their mark on this place. Dixie Cups.